Welcome back, all you guys and ghouls. It is I, the monstrously oversized Zero Morph, coming to you live from North Carolina of the United States of America. All right, guys. So it looks like we got an awesome episode coming up tonight, episode number 12. If you haven't uh, seen all the other episodes, 1 through 11, go back and watch them all before watching this one. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. Okay. All right, so tonight's announcements, I don't really have a whole lot of really what's going on. I already announced uh, patch or hotfix number 1.6.1, which is coming out, uh, what is that, on June... Uh, what was it, 10th, I think? On a Thursday? I think that's that's what I said in episode 11. I'll have to go back and watch that. Uh, really, the only announcement that I have for you guys tonight is, man, did, did I screw up. <laughs> Xeromorph is the big loser. Okay. <laughs> so, back in episode 9, I decided to uh, plug and try to bring attention to a fantastic mod out there called the Bloodlines Prelude Mod Part 1. And <laughs> when I when I plugged it, apparently uh, I didn't do my research or whatnot, um, but I told you guys what it's about and I got it completely <laughs> wrong. So I got an email uh, from Enten Shrek um, over at Planet Vampire, and he's like, hey, dude, uh, I really appreciate uh, you plugging our mod, uh, but uh, that's not what it's about. <laughs> so I'm over here uh, tonight. I told him I'd go ahead and redo it. And uh, yes, yeah, so let the record show that the Bloodlines Prelude mod is not about the fledglings background at all, but it's actually about helping Jack and his mysterious friend prepare the sarcophagus prank. Uh, that's what it's about. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> go back, check it out. It's on ModDB. Download it, play it, love it. Uh, it's a fantastic mod. They did an incredible job, Enten Shrek and Wesp and all the guys uh, who uh, participated in that. Go down there, download it, tell them Zero More sent you, and uh, tell them uh, it's not about the fledgling's background. <laughs> and what's, and what's funny is that I released it in episode 9. Now, this is episode 12, and nobody said a word to me like in the past three three videos i've had like 400 500 views like 30 40 different you know messages comments on youtube and no one said anything to me about it so i don't know if you guys are all in on it <laughs> or what what the heck's going on but uh yeah i had to hear it from the man himself so anyways okay so moving right along guys um tonight is episode 12 with lucy and blackwell let's get in the game all right, guys, so we are back with uh, the adventures of Lucian Blackwell, the Ishtari Tyrant. This is episode 12, and it looks like uh, I am here in the Empire Arms Hotel. Now, I was talking to something compass, and he was telling me uh, that in the unofficial patches, there's a security guard that stands here, which, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Uh, don't mind me. I'm just wasting blood points. Um, <laughs> uh, there's supposed to be a security guard standing here, and he watches the front desk clerk, and the front desk clerk watches him. And they just kind of, you know, kind of gaze into each other's eyes all night. Um, you know, there might be something there. There might not be. We won't ask. But, uh, uh, yeah, so I think instead of uh, making him a one-and-done kind of feed uh Dude, I think I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the security guard over there. As far as the journalist who doesn't say anything with the blue suit, um, I'm just going to have to kind of figure out what's going on with this guy. Him right there. He's the man. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we, we might as well feed on him. He looks kind of lonely. Um, he's he's already died once tonight. <laughs> So let's uh, let's just feed on him again, and we'll just you know kind of walk out so all nice and nonchalant. Now let's take a look here. We've got ten experience points. Uh, we've taken out, gosh, uh, brother Kanker. We took out. Uh, we 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 destroyed Isab Jezebel. Yeah, Jezebel Lock. Um, so I think that we are actually ready because we've got the Brotherhood flyer. But before I do, you know, 
that fight with uh, Brother Vic, Bishop Vic, I think is his name. Um, let's see here. So I would really like to get another point in Blood Heal. Uh, because I want, instead of that 20 seconds of Blood Heal, I want 40 seconds per activation. Not only that, but it actually increases the rate at which I regenerate my uh, health. So I think I'm going to see what I can do about getting two more experience uh, before fighting Brother Vic. I keep calling him Brother Vic. I don't know why. Bishop. 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 Vic. Bishop. Vic. Um... Let's see here. You know, guys, we haven't been to my haven in like forever. I think uh, Lucian might have even forgotten where his haven is. Um, so let's let's see if we can go back to Santa Monica, check out our emails, kind of see what's going on. I might actually even get some experience points uh, for reading uh, Sylvia Sylvia Black's email. Let's go check it out and see what we got going on. All right, guys, we are uh, back in the Santa Monica Haven here. Um, I'm hoping to get the Skyline Apartments, I think is, is what it's called, the Skyline Apartments Hotel. Hotel, is it? No, no, no. Skyline Apartments. Yeah, because a hotel is not an apartment, is it? I've already been in here. What am I doing in here? All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, looks like everything's pretty much the same. And... What was I supposed to do with that uh, with that picture? Uh, the murdered journalist to wait. You murdered the journalist to uphold the masquerade. Now take the pictures he was carrying back to your haven and check your email. Okay, so we just want to check our email here. Oh, I got three emails, guys. This is exciting. Okay, nicely done. There we go. See, now that is what I'm talking about. Successfully sent the blood back to LaCroix. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to your werewolf blood. Oh, I hadn't completed the werewolf quest yet. I didn't know that. So I got some money in my Haven mailbox. Sweet. Okay, help me out. Uh, who's this from? Bertram at Shreknet.vtm. Uh, Want to get on my good side? Here's how. Head back to Foxy Boxes in Santa Monica and find the Cathayans' computer. Uh, send me copies of the reports, then destroy them. Do this ASAP. Oh, man. I wonder when he sent this. He probably sent it like a month ago. <laughs> okay, well, we'll head down there next thing then. And good job. Thank you. Sylvia at Tattoo Shop. It's a shame you had to murder him, but it's the price you pay to uphold the masquerade. Hold on to these pictures and make sure they never see the light of day. In fact, those pictures may be worth something to the right person. See where I'm going with this? I love I love how she writes emails the same way she talks. You know, see where I'm going with this? Awesome. Awesome. And it looks like, did I, did I get a masquerade? Uh... Redemption? I did. And I didn't need it. <laughs> so that was a complete waste. Right on. So now I'm sitting at 13 experience. I'm going to go ahead and spend it on Blood Heal level 12. Or <laughs> level 12. Wouldn't that be cool if you had a Blood Heal level 12? <laughs> Blood Heal level 3 for 12 experience. Um, man, you know, Brother Vic's going to have a hard time with me. Fisticuffs or not, uh, he's going to struggle with my awesomeness. Let's see here. Uh, let's go get our... Is it our money? Yeah. We need to get our money. Let's go down and get our money. And do do I need to hold on to that picture? You know, there is a... Uh, what is this? My inventory? There's an inventory limit. It's... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just... Let's just drop this off in our uh, neat little... Ooh, I have a severed arm in my drawer. That's cool. Wow. Man, you would think I'm a, a nagloper. No, is it is it is it the nagloper? No, I think it's a different clan that eats flesh. My bad. Uh, let's see here. The photo, a blurry photo of... Okay, let's go ahead and put that in our drawer. And I still think that you should get some money for this driver's license, but what do I know? $635. And do I need this appointment book? No. 
I wonder if I can sell it. Let's see if I can sell it for some money. And let's see here. And I'm keeping that knife for emergencies. You know, I ended up using the knife, actually, um, when I fought uh, Little Princess Jezebel. So that came in handy. She was easy with the knife. Um, okay, let's go over to Foxy Boxes so um, we can start the, uh, what is that? The Akeem. That's right. Akeem Quest. You guys remember Akeem, right? Our favorite uh, Asimite Vizier. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, we're here at uh, Foxy Boxes. We need to send that uh, information to Bertram that was on the uh, Cathayan's laptop. Let's see here. Reports and send data. Great job. Now destroy the data, Bertram. Okay, destroy data. Nice, another experience. Thanks. On another matter, I need you to retrieve an item from an old acquaintance of mine that has just returned from Europe. He's a trader in books and lore, so meeting him is probably in your best interest as well. You can usually find him in the parking lot of the Empire Arms Hotel downtown. Do this, and I will make it worth your while. Bertram, awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's head downtown. That's where our friend uh, Bishop Vic is, and he needs a spanking in the behind. So I will see you guys downtown. All right, guys, so we are back downtown again. Um, and I just noticed this pretty little lass with blonde hair and a green shirt over here. She looks like a reskinned character. She looks unique. So I think she is one of the people that you can mug, you can coerce. Um, of their money. So let's talk yes. to her. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. She's so pretty. Yes. Okay. Um, wait, what? I'm looking for a sex shop, a place with videos and toys. Why would I say that to a... Str okay, let's let's do it. <laughs> actually. Act oh, <laughs> she's like, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yes, you were going to say yes, as in yes, I'll come with you? No. No, I can't. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure you can. And we can spend your money on toys. Li what? Who wrote this stuff? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, that's not good. Um, all sorts of kinky stuff for us to play with. You're disgusting. Get out of my face and God help you. <laughs> nice. Nice. You don't want me? Fine. You can just give me your money instead. Uh, I can't take this anymore. Excuse me. <laughs> don't worry. I'll find you later. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who's writing this garbage. Uh. But uh. Yeah. It's not. It's not healthy at all. Whoa. What was that? I just saw someone fly across the screen. Oh yeah. Another bloodlines bug. Uh. Let's see here. Where was I going? I was going somewhere. Somewhere important. And now I can't remember where it was. Oh, yeah, I was going to see if I could uh, sell this appointment book. And I was going to pay Brother Vic. Oh, no. Now I remember where I was going. I was going to go to pay Akeem a visit. Hi, lady. Okay. Let's go this way. And Akeem is just around the corner. You know what? I always thought this would be really cool. If you turn this into a building, like 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 a new quest or something, I always thought that was really awesome. If I knew how to uh, make maps like Enten Shrek does, I would totally make a new map, and that would be so sweet. Okay, what's up, buddy? Man, you look awesome. You look so great. Greetings, kindred. NPC resists your presence. Of course he does. He's he's Akim. He's like a thousand years old, or whatever. Uh, let's see here. Who are you? You may address me as Aki. Aki. I am a scholar. And, and a book dealer. dealer. Okay. Um, now, I've I've gone through all of this before with my 1.5 playthrough. So if you want to hear all the responses and stuff, go check out those videos. Uh, but I'm going to be kind of skipping through some of this. Um, let's see here. So, how goes the book business? As usual, poorly. Most canines are only, only in interested in things they can bite. Yeah, I like things I can bite too. <laughs> uh, sounds like you need some someone with a bit of spare time. Actually, 
I might indeed have something really? that could be of certain Your teeth look great. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, I'm all ears. There is a book. The, the Survey Malum. Written by Heinrich Kramer. Okay, go on. I have been pursuing this book for, for over a century. century wow. I've it's a long time. Located. It's like a hundred years. Uh, hunters, as in, wait a minute, like vampire hunters? Just remain mindful, young one, and you will. And I'll be fine. fine. Remember, they are only, only human. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think Lucian has fought only one hunter, and it didn't go so well. So, yeah. Uh, fine, I'll steal the book. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. I shall await your return. I'm, I'm a little afraid of Edgar Hurst, though. Um, let's see here. I hope I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I uh, I hope I do, too. Uh, let's see here. Quest log. Akeem, the Asimite Vizier and Scholar, has asked you to find a special book for him to survey Malum. Supposedly a sequel to the infamous Malleus Maleficarum, The Witch's Hammer, by Heinrich Kramer. It is in the hands of a powerful hunter named Edgar Hurst, who resides in the Skyline Apartments. Now, I think, personally, brother, brother, Bishop Vic is actually a little bit easier than Edgar Hurst, because Edgar Hurst has those other two hunters with him. You know, it's a one versus three kind of fight. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tackle... Bishop Vic first, and you know what? Let's 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 feed on her. Oh wait a minute, that dude's going pee pee. Oh, you go pee pee. I want, I want the pee pee. <laughs> Give me the pee pee. Yes, yes, my precious. Okay, that went well. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you in a place where we can all be enlightened. All right, guys, so we are back here, and uh, I'm following a guy in a blue suit, and he has a mustache. I have a feeling he's another uh, another character that we can uh, coerce, so let's go stop him real quick. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice goatee, dude. That looks like, uh, that looks like real hair. I like it. Okay, uh, you look like you've got some green. How about you help me out? Or, no, nah, like, yo, buddy, I'm down on my luck. Help me out with a few bucks. I'm sorry, I've got a lot on my mind lately. If you'll excuse me. Uh, not so fast, punk. Give me your Benjamins or get whacked by my gat. <laughs> nice. Slang or code I'm too old to get. I really <laughs> don't know what the hell you're talking about. Nice. Go bug someone else. I'm really not in the mood. You're not in the mood. Uh, let's see here. Well, you better get in the mood. You're going to give me all your... Wait. <laughs> You're going to give me your wallet or get pop. No, I was just straight clowning dog later. Okay. Um, so hopefully... Let's see here. He's not mad at me. Just leave me alone. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, I take it back. He is mad at me. <laughs> okay, I was kind of hoping if I, if I ducked out of the dialogue early, uh, he would, uh... He'd be cool, but yeah, he's not He's not cool. Definitely not cool. So let's go take care of the bishop over here and see what he's doing. What's up, Jumbles? What's up, brother? You enlightened? Oh, yes, I am. I see. Welcome to the brotherhood. Welcome the to the brotherhood. Nice. Thanks, dude. Okay, so we got lots of zombies and all sorts of crazy stuff. We got this chick up here, though, right? Is she still in the game? Yep, there she is. She said, "Oh, did, did you get summoned? This is a summon. You're going. You going up upstairs to, stairs to, to see the barber? <laughs> when I first saw that, I was like, a barber? Is he gonna cut my hair? Uh, let's see here. What are you talking about? You're new to the brotherhood. Huh? New, 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 new to the brother. She sounds really scared. Uh, the temple. What goes? Uh, blah, blah. What goes on up there? I, I don't know." I mean, I, I hear things. I, 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 I hear things. What What did she see? Blood. Blood? She said, um, Sounds like my kind of place. Everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the... She saw... Y y you know, y you sound scared. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. The bishop's the, very the circle. Bishop said very, very, very scary. Our, very um, scary uh, circle. Our... Uh, let's see here. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about the bishop anymore. 
Um, let's see here. You know what? I don't really need to feed on her. I'm on. I've got full blood. Let's see here. So my my addiction is completely satisfied. Nice. Okay, that's that's good news. Oh, look at this rug. This rug looks terrible. Look how low resolution. There's like no fringe. All right. So I think I need to call my buddy up, uh, Vampire Nonsense, and get him on the ball. Let's see here. Presents. Okay. Hey, dude. Um, oh, you're nice looking. Ugh! What? That dude just grabbed me out of nowhere. Did you guys see that? I didn't even have a chance to, like, swing at him or anything. He just, he just, bam. Just got me. Ugh! Ugh! Kill you all. Lucy Blackwell. The bringer of death. Ugh! This is... Oh, look, look at that guy bowing down to me. Oh, he exploded. Okay, I need to get uh, some of my blood back here. I forgot my uh, blood heal is... Oh, man! Oh! Dang, they made me sick! I'm all sparkly and I look sick. I'm vomiting blood. I, they, they must have Ebola. Ebola is a very dangerous virus. Don't get Ebola. Urgh. Get you! Get you, get you, get you. <laughs> uh. You know what? Why am I fighting? I should just go. Whoa, there's a ton of them out here. Let's go this way. Nope. Let's not go this way. Ah, ha, ha. You guys are you guys are like popcorn. Once you pop, you can't stop. Uh. Wait, no, that's Pringles. My bad. Okay, get out of my way. Let's go this way. You know, I still haven't bought a uh, a blood bag. Here, come here, come here, ratty rat rat. All right. Yeah, I still haven't bought a bought a blood bag, and I have a feeling I'm gonna get a uh, a comment from something compass as soon as I release this video. He's gonna be like, "Dude, what are you doing?" I'm gonna be like, "Uh, nothing." Oh yeah, give me a rat. I really do need to get some blood bags though, because I'm just I'm just cutting it so so close by not. Okay, what am I doing back here? I'm in between the walls. Yeah, I'm strong enough to move boards. Wait a minute, this is the freaking beginning. Oh man, that was lame. Let's go back. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm so lost. Lucy and Blackwell is like the most lost dude ever. I don't think he's very smart, personally. Ra. Uh, uh. I don't even know where I'm going. This is bad. Ooh, but there's rats. I like the rats. Give me, give me rat, rat juice. Give me rat juice. I thought I was supposed to go. There we go. Right there. Right through the floor. There we go. Me likey. Me likey. Run down here. Excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> I just hit him. Step aside. There we go. Yes. Do I need to get these last two blood points? I think I do. Come here, rat. Come here, you old rat. No, 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 no. You get away from me. Jackie Chan. Bah! Bah! Uh. See, I'm wasting blood by fighting this chick. Uh. You're making me waste my blood. Okay, well, I'm almost full health. Brother, I see you, you have, have been, been enlightened. Oh, yeah. Oh, your teeth look really good, too. Uh, let's see here. You're the cause of all the disease, aren't you? <laughs> Sounds like you caught it. <laughs> Put on a mask, dude. You Don't cough on me. Are you the guy I need to talk to if I want to join up? They call me Bishop. Bishop, bitch, shepherd of the damn. Last days here on Earth. You're, wait, are you talking about Gehenna? Gehenna. Judgment, Judgment Day. The you apocalypse. Talk of disease. What about the this guy would be so fun to have at a party. No. No, brother. There is no God. 
Okay. Uh, let's see here. Sounds good. Do you have an application or something? <laughs> the time for words is coming. Coming on. You let's see here. It sounds. It sounded like a good plan, but now you're gone and just made me mad. Okay, let's... No! You be nice. You be nice, Brother Vic. Ugh. Oh, I'm not even hurting him. He's not really hurting me too much either. Uh, okay, I take that back. Ugh. I'll tell you what, though, man. Having, having all this presence and having all this blood heal and stuff is nice. I got you on the ropes. I got you on the ropes. No, you guys go away. I'll punch you too. Man, I've almost got him down to half health. Ah! Yeah, you little rats are everywhere. Where are you? Beat you up. I pity the fool. Where is he? Where's Brother Vic? Oh, there he is. Oh, you were looking the wrong way, dude. I'm gonna see if I can take him out with fists. Fists are so fun. Okay, my blood is right at that point. <laughs> he doesn't even run around. He just kind of stands there and lets me keep hitting him. Ah. Oh, cool. You shot your own deed. Ah. Wow. Am I seriously? Oh, man. He, oh, thank you. Thank you for killing him. I was I was like, stop holding me. Look at this, man. I'm going to kill Bishop Vic with my fist. <laughs> That's awesome. Honestly, I, 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 I kind of thought Bishop Vic would be harder than that. I just got him in the corner and just beat the crap out of him. Wow. <laughs> Who says you can't beat this game with fists? That was awesome. Okay. So I guess... I guess that was it. Wow, that was... A little bit anticlimactic, but... Uh, we do need some blood. You know, there's a gun around here. There's like a gun, like, right there. But I can't see it. I'm blind. I'm so blind. Okay, let's see here. Looks like Lucian needs to hunt. Hey, dude. Um... Can we be friends? I like friends. Do you like friends? Can we can we be friends together? No one's watching us be friends. Let's be friends right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Warm and juicy. A little bit salty. Not a problem. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? What's up, girl? How you doing? Uh Yeah, there's a lot of people standing around. So let's just, uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is somebody going down here? Oh, it's that chick. It's the chick in the green. It's the girly girl in the green. Okay, there's nobody down here. Does someone maybe, someone want to come down here? How about one of you? You guys want to come down here? Huh? Yeah? I don't, I don't see anybody. How about you? Yeah. I've got free candy. You want some candy? It's very sweet. I think you'd like it. Oh, you're going to stand here and smoke. Man, there's a lot of people over here. Ah, and there's my dude way down there. He's he's taking a nap. Shh, don't wake him. Oh, she's just kind of staring at the door. Nah, she'll turn around as soon as I put my fangs in her. Is someone coming down here? Yeah, man, there's like nobody. Come on, you bunch of nobodies. So, let's see here. I think we need to go and visit uh, the last round to get our experience for Patty and for this. And also, we need to go to the Chantry. Let's go ahead and do that first. Oh, wait a minute. She was about to come down here. Whoa! Look at all these people. That's a lot of blood. Uh-oh, he was bad. You have to stand in the corner because you were bad. But I can't feed on you. There's just too many. Ah, it's like a parade. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see uh, Mr. Chantry guy. 
Mr. Baldy. All right, guys, we are here with uh, Mr. Four Eyes, the bald guy. Hello, Neonate. How Hello, may Neonate. How may I? Okay. Uh, do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. Nice. I solved the problem with the epidemic. You have? Indeed, I have, yeah. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Of the epidemic? Well, it came from uh, the Wuhan lab in China. Oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> it was a uh, a blood cult headed by a vampire named Bishop Vic, a plague bearer. Tell me of this so-called bishop. Well, he only moves on diagonal squares. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong game. Uh, he wanted to bring about the end of the world. I see. Okay. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique, a unique talisman, talisman that, that might, might be, be of use. use. Yes. No, 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 no. Not the cash. I'll take the item you're talking about. A wise decision, Neil Nate. True power lies not lies in not wealth. In wealth. Well, in that's uh, that's debatable. Okay, the necklace of Solot, beautiful. Uh, there was uh, one one more thing I needed. Of course. Uh, Strauss, you seem to have, have have access to some powerful artifacts. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I fight barehanded. Can you offer me anything? I cannot help you with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you can't help me with that? Let's see here. I would be forever in your debt, and I always return favors. <sighs> I see. Take this. The fang from a vampire? Where did this come from? I do not know. Oh, but wearing it will make me a better brawler? Yes. <laughs> nice. I love I love the final night. So many so many cool little nuggets. Uh let's see here. I can give you one thousand dollars, but I'll need to raise the money first. Uh the item does look powerful, but it's so expensive. I'll think about it. Okay, so it's a thousand bucks. Nice. Then return to me when you have. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Uh, tch, 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 all right. I'll return when I... You drive a hard bargain, Strauss. I'll see if I can get the money. Bye. Okay. So let's look at our quest log. We need a grand? Are you serious? Man, oh man. And that's with a barter of four. So I have six experience right now. How much would it cost to raise barter? I wasn't planning on really raising barter, though. That would cost six. And let's see here, barter four. That would cost, or no, this would cost eight and this would cost six. Man, so if I sink another point into barter, that should in theory bring the price down probably to 900 or something like that. Eh, I don't really want to put more experience into barter. I'm kind of happy with where it's at. Uh, blood heal, fortitude. That's what I want to get up, actually, is fortitude. I would love to have a blood heal, presence, fortitude combination running. I don't plan on putting any more into blood heal, because 40 seconds is a pretty long time. And level 3 blood heal is really good. And I don't think I'm going to really need blood heal that much when I have you know, a level three or four fortitude and a level five presence. I'm just going to be, I, I, I'm just not going to take any damage. Um, so let's actually hold off on fortitude for now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with raising my expertise skills, get these up so I can, you know, complete quests and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Okay. And we also need, let's, let's actually go to, um, the last round and pick up a ton of experience and then we'll end episode 12 and we will pick back up in episode 13. So I'll see you guys at the last round. All right, guys, we are here at the last round. As you can see, I managed to find some blood on the way, uh, on the way here to the last round. I found a, a willing donor. So that was nice. Let's just talk to everybody. Sorry, Andy, but I got the whole city shouting. Got the whole city shouting in my ear. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to contribute to that shouting. So what's up? 
What's up? Uh, doesn't look like we have any extra dialogue options. Nice triangle uh, looking cigarette. I like that. Them's them's are the polygons. I like polygons. Uh, let's see here. I took care of the patty problem. Another masquerade redemption. I didn't need. Nice. Dude, those eyes are so wicked in the dark. Love them. Uh, let's see here. I did. I did what I did for the good of the masquerade. Uh, you know what? I might actually get some extra points with them if I say I'm always down with the anarch cause. See ya. Okay. Let's go and talk to the mother of these mothers, the dead mother. Let's see here. All the plague bearers are dead. You killed all of them? Uh huh. You. Yep. <laughs> me. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? You better. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Experience rewarded of one. Uh, let's see here. Wah, 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 wah. Kindred or kind, I just wanted to help the community. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. An anarch soul? You know, I feel like an anarch. Some of the boys Another masquerade. Gosh. I just got two masquerade redemptions. Nice. Wait, were you talking? Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's see here. Hey, damsel, you seem resourceful. Why don't you join me in that? <laughs> I should say that. No, I don't think she'd like that too much. Uh, wait, what if I said I'm sick of LaCroix and I want to join the anarchs? I don't know. You seem pretty tight with Nancy Pants. Up Nancy there. Pants? No, his name is Sebastian, not Nancy. Uh, you might you might need to get that right in the future. Uh, what are you trying to imply, damsel? So, you really want to help us out? Not really. Stay close to LaCroix. Smooch his ass. Play ball. Play ball? Oh, I was, I was always like terrible at ball. Uh, wait, are you talking about baseball or basketball? Uh, let's see here. Screw LaCroix. That's why I'm here. I'm through. Hear me? Check that shit. <laughs> what? I'm so confused about the jeans commercial thing. Okay. Um, all right. I'll get it. I'll go make nice. Keep my ears open. But yeah. Cool. With someone on the inside, we should be able to eject his candy ass a whole lot Candy? Sooner. Does he have some candy? I love candy. I love, uh, what are those? What are those called? Smarties. Oh, dude, I so love Smarties. They're so good. They're my favorite candy. Uh, will do. Okay, yeah, if you guys ever want to support the uh, Zero Morph channel, just send uh, a box of Smarties and a 32 ounce of Kobe steak my way, and that would really really helped me out. I love the lighting in here. I love how I don't know, it just, it looks so cool. This game really, I mean it doesn't look that bad considering this came out in 2004. It actually looks pretty good. Alright guys so we are done for the night. We are sitting at 8 experience. Um, we increased our blood heal to level 3 which made the Bishop Vic fight almost kind of laughable uh let's see here quest log and we knocked out a bunch of quests and we unlocked uh or no sorry <laughs> that's kind of a min man min 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 max way of saying uh we met is that is that his name we met okay anyways <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about let's see here santa monica enigmatic enigmatic encounter we met with Akeem so that's good I like that and uh, yeah that'll do it for episode 12 tonight I hope you guys had a good time I know I did um, what do I want to say oh yeah uh, so 1.6.1 1. Uh, 1 will be released on Thursday uh, June 10th and uh, yeah That'll wrap it up. All right, guys. Check under the bed. Check the closet. Zero Morph out.